big square catch you in the crime This time there's no way to turn And wow, do I have a scoop for you! My sources tell me a new season of Marvel Snap is upon us! And it's called Spider vs. No need to bury the lead here! This month's season pass card is Ghost Spider! Moves the last card you played to her! Web yank your cards across the multiverse, which will help you trigger extra buffs on old favorites like Human Torch and Vulture! Or rescue cards lost to a losing position on locations like The Kill or the vault. She can even move cards to the right. Breaking news. This just in. I've been given exclusive intel of new variants becoming available during Spider Versus. Miles Morales. Spider-Man. And you won't see this exclusive in those other rags. It's Ghost Spider 2099. And that's not all. Make sure to clip these awesome variants out when they launch. Venom. Venomized Ghost Spider. Another ghost spider. Electro. Venomized silk. Wait a minute. Silk? Extra, extra. Read all about it. Hot off the presses. Silk is just one of several new cards that you won't want to miss this season. Silk has the most finely tuned spider sense of anyone who has spider powers. Her ability is that after any card is played where she is, she moves to another location. With great power comes great mobility. Silk can rocket across the board turn after turn. She can swing into Kun Lun for plus two power over and over, or sneak into locations like Sanctum Sanctorum that are otherwise tricky to access. There's a bunch of other great cards launching this season, including Spider-Man 2099, also known as Miguel O'Hara. He's an alternate Spider-Man from the future who's here to tear fools up. The first time he moves to a location, you'll destroy an enemy card there. This card might be the most dangerous addition to a move deck. Use Iron Fist to spring a surprise attack, or drop Ghost Spider after 2099 to fire a targeted web blast at your opponent's toughest card. Just the threat of his attack might be enough to snap your enemy into a retreat. He's also a great counter to Magneto. Spider Hand. Originally a spider named Peter, he turned into a pig after being bitten by an irradiated pig. Now he transforms the highest cost card in your opponent's hand into a pig, but it keeps its power and cost. This disruptive card can swing way above its weight class. Smack your opponent's highest cost card, transforming it into an anthropomorphic pig, minus the superpowers. He's a great tool against Apocalypse, Doctor Doom, and Galactus, turning them into useless strips of bacon. However, he's not so great against the Infinite. And this isn't gotcha journalism, we print the truth. Cold hard facts. And we have confirmation that two new locations will be added to Marvel Snap this season. So get those decks ready for Aunt Maze. The first card you play here gets plus three power and moves. That first card probably won't be home by curfew. The Great Web. After each turn, move one card here for a random player. Could be a different player each turn. Or not. Word on the street is that we're getting two new features for Marvel Snap. Weekend missions and a daily offer reward system. Both of which are new ways to get tokens that you can use for new cards. And this was off the record, but we'll be getting our first ever direct to Series 4 cards that you won't want to miss. My source says more changes are on the way, but they're not quite ready to share just yet. It's almost time to conclude our expose, but first, an exclusive interview with one of the developers of Marvel Snap, Ben Broad from Earth 1218. How you been, Ben? Oh, I've been good. How you been, Ben? Been good. Thanks for asking. Can you tell all readers about Conquest Mode? 
Oh man, Conquest Mode is a brand new ultra competitive mode in Marvel Snap. We've already released the ability to battle against friends where you each play a series of games till one player deals 10 damage to the other. But in Conquest, you'll be playing battles against online opponents for exciting new prizes. Tell us about the difficulty levels. You start in the Proving Grounds, and if you can win a single battle, you'll be rewarded with a ticket to the Silver Conquest. If you win two in a row in the Silver Conquest, you'll earn a ticket to the Gold Conquest. And if you win three games in the Gold Conquest, then you'll earn a ticket to the Infinity Conquest, which is only available during the final week of the season. What do you get for winning the Infinity Conquest? Well, for each conquest you win, you'll earn medals that you can spend in the conquest shop. But if you can win the Infinity Conquest, you'll upgrade the avatar you used to an Infinity Border avatar. The Infinity Conquest is not for the faint of heart. This is what the best players have been saving their tickets for all month. Fantastic. Thanks for sharing this with our readers. Thank you so much for reading and staying informed. Here at Marvel Snap, we love to share the inside scoop on what we're doing. Until next time, stay snappy, friends. Well, I guess that's the scoop for now. Watch out for next month's edition, where we cover more Marvel Snap.